but I, I always have this issue where I don't know what's like, what makes me happy. But let me tell you something. When I used this vacuum cleaner, I felt pure joy. Okay, like I, I was giddy. I know what makes me happy and that's sucking the living shit out of a carpet. That felt so good, holy shit! <laughs> it was so good! So, <clears throat> we have a lot of animals that all shed. There's hair everywhere. Everywhere. We have, like, these rugs, and they're just, like, co they're coated in hair. You have no idea. It's nasty. There's rabbit shit everywhere. This place is disgusting. <clears throat> There's hairballs that just fly around and get in the corners of the room. It's nasty. And our vac- the only vacuum we've had is the same one that we- was our first vacuum, okay? We got a vacuum when we moved in. Because it was our first time living alone. So we bought a vacuum. Like, four years ago. And it was just like the cheapest shit you could find at Target. That had okay reviews. That's what we bought. Um, and that has been broken for like three years, basically. That vacuum. Like, every time you use it, it just shoots dust out the back. <clears throat> and I've been meaning to get a new vacuum. Forever. Especially because now we have rabbits and there's just like rabbit shit everywhere. And we, we sweep all the time. But it's not good enough. Like, the hair is so lightweight, it just like gets- it just like blows around. Like, it doesn't even get swept up, it just gets blown away. So... So we- so the- one day on stream, I asked you guys what vacuum I should get. And I believe it was Sam, a dude named Sam, I think. He was like, holy shit, I finally have someone to recommend a vacuum to, and I was like, holy shit, I need a vacuum recommended to me. And they said to get this Dyson animal vacuum that was a million billion dollars. And I was like, fuck, that's so much money, but maybe that's what I need to do. I just need to get the expensive vacuum, None of this cheap shit. It was $600, $650 with tax. So I got the million billion dollar Dyson animal vacuum. It's cordless. It can turn into a hand vacuum. It's good for pet stuff and it sucks real good. It sucks way good. Like, it sucks super good. So, we- and- and so- so we threw out the- the shitty vacuum, like, a month ago, and the house has just been gathering more and more and more and more garbage everywhere. The carpet just has, like, my hair entangled in it. It's got rabbit poop everywhere. And I just don't want to deal with it. And Anthony's allergies have been very, very bad. I know I'm really exaggerating, but I'm trying to explain that it, it was pretty bad. So anyway, Anthony's allergies were have been horrible, and I'm like, we need the vacuum. Like, I don't think you realize how much dust and dirt is everywhere. And it's every time he goes into the bedroom. So like, every time we go to bed, he's like, dying. Okay, so we get the vacuum. I just ordered it, like, same-day pickup from Bed Bath & Beyond. Brought it home, plugged it in it- or not even plugged it in, it had some juice in it. <clears throat> and we immediately vacuumed this white rug that I have, that I have under the coffee table. That has so much hair, you could just see all the, like, the cat hair. And we vacuumed it. And it sucked so hard, it just sounds good and it feels good. It was like... <laughs> and 
in in the the canister it filled the whole canister just from the carpet just from that one small rug it's like a it's like a five by three rug it's like a small rug and it just it 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 looks like a brand new rug first of all second of all i mean that was second of all first of all the canister was entirely filled like we were screaming and i just i sit down on that rug all the time and hang out with the pets and i just always feel like crumbs in my toes and like bunny shit on my feet you don't you have no idea we sweep so much but there's always hair and bunny shit everywhere and like cat nails that fall off and so now we can finally vacuum and anthony vacuumed the whole bedroom i hate finding like shredded pieces of cat nails or like whisk Ugh. but yeah so, um, whenever Anthony's, like, done taking a shower or taking a shit or whatever, I'm gonna tell him to give me those photos, because my phone was dead at the time. Oh my god. <clears throat> and I took, I took the, I turned it into the hand vacuum. <clears throat> and I put it on the cat tree. And, oh my god, the cat tree looks fucking pristine. I mean, not all places, because it's, like, scratched up in some places, but, like, the base of it, it's all, like, carpeting or, like, a fabric. And now it's, like, clean. It was so nasty. So, yes, I, I, I felt pure joy using the vacuum. And I just want to keep vacuuming. And I can't wait. I can't wait. We're waiting for it to charge, okay? It's, it's, uh, you gotta charge the vacuum. But when it's charged, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go into the bunny's cage, which is just like a, it's like a playpen. And, and there's just so much. So, like, I have, like, a rug in the playpen. They, like, live in this. I don't know what to call it. There's, like, an enclosure that they live in. And there's just a rug on the floor. But the rug is so coated in hair and, like, poop. I can't wait to take the vacuum in there and just go... Oh my god, it's so good! <laughs> you have no idea! It makes me so happy! I was crying! Me and Anthony, we were just so happy. I feel like a real adult with a real vacuum. The house is gonna look clean. It's not gonna be dirty anymore. <laughs> yeah, so if you're ever depressed, spend all your money on a Dyson. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. 